Wow, I can't believe my very first passenger is comedy legend Mel Brooks. I love that movie, Young Frankenstein. Scared the hell out of me. Um, thanks. Hey, let's do that 2,000 pound man thing. I'll be that Carl Reiner guy and you'll be what's his face. <laughs> Homer, it's not that easy. It takes the genius of Carl Reiner and the rhythm and timing that only he and I... Sir, uh... today every country has a national anthem. Did they have national anthems 2,000 years ago? Sure, sure we had. Of course, we was caves. But every cave had a national anthem. I'll never forget the, my cave's national anthem. What was that national anthem? Let him all go to hell except Cave 76. <laughs> Watch with your siren. Watch with the siren. Evening, Simpson. You got a short and your tail light started blinking when you made that turn. I see your chauffeur's license. Chauffeur's license, eh? Mel, buckle your voice belt! Uh, since you're trying to make a getaway in park, I'm guessing you don't have a license. Better head down to the DMV. These two broads will help you out. Wow. Officer, uh, this man is making me a little edgy. Could you please give me a ride to the airport? Hey, hey, you're Mel Brooks. Sure, I'll give you a ride. Oh, thank you. Uh, on the way, we can do that uh, $2,000 man thing. Mm. You be Carl Reiner, and I'll be uh, Police Chief Wiggum. Listen, why don't you play Carl Reiner and let me play Police Chief Wiggum? I hate Carl Reiner. Yeah, how about an anthem? Did we that... had a national anthem. What was the anthem? Well, uh, you see, it was very fragmented. Fragments, yes. It was a nation. Yes. It was caves. Yes. Each cave. It was a nation. Each cave had a national anthem. Yes. Well, do you remember the national anthem of your cave? Uh, I certainly do. I'll never forget. You don't forget a national anthem in a minute. Let me hear it, sir. Let them all go to hell except Cave 17. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 2,000-year-old man, Mr. Mel Brooks. Ah, it's I feel good, and I'm happy, and I'm delighted. Delighted to be here on the Hollywood Palace. Delighted to be alive. Never mind anything else. That's true. <laughs> well, you... When I wake up in the morning, I make myself a birthday cake. <laughs> if it's a cupcake with one candle, I am glad to go in and out. <laughs> Sir, so what, what has... What has? I've asked you this many times. You've asked me a lot of junk. Since yes, I know. yes. But I, we are always yes. fascinated to know what has kept you alive. What do you think has kept you alive? The main thing All that has years. kept me alive, rolling along and singing a song for over 2,000 years, is women. Hundreds and hundreds of beautiful women. I don't understand. How can beautiful women keep you alive? Are we in a parking lot? <laughs> no, it's a television studio. If I'll answer that question, we'll be in a parking lot. <laughs> I, I, I see what you mean, yeah. sir. Don't you ever go out to a dance? Don't yeah, you know? Yes, I, I know about those Isn't things. Isn't there a back seat in your car? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm not going to that, sir. Are you square? Sir, <laughs> sir most, uh, we know that many, many hundreds of years ago, most men had more than one wife. Yeah. Did you practice polygamy in those days? I never practiced it. I was perfect at it. <laughs> You, in other words, you are a polygamist. Yes, one of the biggest polygamists in Southeast Persia. Oh, how, how, many, how many wives did you have at one single time? Let me see. I had the most I ever had was seven. Seven in one shot. Seven beautiful yes, wives. Yes, I had Ruchel, Rachel, Rachel, Ruchel, Raquel, Rochelle, and Zenobia. Oh. <laughs> Sick you. What was it like to have seven wives? Terrible. It was absolutely the worst thing that ever happened to me. Why? I used to come home from work and I'd open that door and I'd hear, you're late for supper, 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 supper. <laughs> I hate you, got you, got you, got you. Got you. I, can, I can see where that works. Seven of them. But how, how did you work it out with seven wives in one home? Seven wives, seven days. I made each wife queen for a day. <laughs> sure. Each wife had a day. Sure, Monday, Rachel. Tuesday, Rachel. Wednesday, Rachel. <laughs> Thursday, Rochelle, and Friday, Rocholo, and Saturday, Rochelle, and Sunday, Zenobia. I guess I needn't ask which was your favorite. Zenobia. Yeah, I can see that. What was it about Zenobia that... Zenobia was the only one of all my wives, the only one of all the seven who was always unfaithful to me. And you liked that? It gave me a day off. <laughs> Sir, if I may ask you... Yes, sir. 
You know so much about love. What is the difference between infatuation and love? Infatuation is longer. I, I, don't, I don't understand that. Infatuation. No. Oh, you mean the size of the word. No, I mean, I mean the emotion, not the length of the word. The emotion. Well, yeah. infatuation is nothing. It's kid stuff. I mean, infatuation is like this. Hello, darling. How are you? Want to go to a movie? Forget it. I see. Love. Love is the real thing. Love makes your eyeballs hot. And it makes your mouth like cotton. And it puts jelly in your knees and it turns your elbows in on yourself. And you get a pain deep in you. Such a pain. Wait a minute, that's a kidney stone. <laughs> love, I don't know. Love is hard. It is. It is a difficult love thing to describe. Love is hard. Love well, is complicated. Well, psychiatrists Love feel... is a many splintered thing. Yes. Splintered? We made love in trees. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, uh, psychiatrists feel, especially yeah. Dr. Sigmund Freud... Talk fast, but I'm no good. I, yeah. I, was, I, was, saying, I was saying, psychiatrists feel, and Dr. Sigmund Freud has stated... You knew Siggy. No. You knew him. Did you know him? I knew him. Dr. Freud, I was his first patient. You went to Dr. I Freud? I certainly did. What was your problem? I was a dog. You thought you were a dog? Uh, for about two, three years, I felt I was a dog. And he treated you yes, in the classic all, manner? Sure. Interpreting your dreams, letting you lie on the couch? Oh, I was never allowed up on the couch. <laughs> Because you were a dog. Right. I see. So, so how did he cure you? He rolled a paper and he hit me. <laughs> That's the best way to train it's, a dog. That's true. It's not the pain, it's the noise. Yeah, it scares you. Know, they get scared. Uh, sir, Straight me right on. some of the famous people that we, we've heard of, legend or fact, Robin Hood, did he exist? A real person. Really? A real person with long hair and a green sunsuit, and he <laughs> ran around in the forest with a band of merry gentlemen. <laughs> Today he would have been a dress designer. <laughs> uh, sir, what about uh, Genghis Khan? Genghis Cohen was his real name. <laughs> yes, sir. For what reason? Business purposes. <laughs> uh, business purposes. Well, he used to write a lot of checks and kill a lot of checks and Yugoslavs and Poles. He was on. <laughs> oh yes. Well, sir, uh, years ago, what did you do for entertainment? Not now. Uh, hundreds of years. Apart ago. from fooling around in the cave? Yes. I mean, oh, <laughs> We had a few things. The biggest thing we had was bullfights. We had them today. Yes. Well, two big bulls would get in a ring and right. kill each other no. for the love of a cow. No, no, just a moment. Today, a man and a bull fight in the middle of a ring. For the love of a cow? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't own a ring. I wouldn't care if the cow was Elsie. I mean, that's beautiful. Yes, right. yes, but I wouldn't risk my life on it. No, them. nobody would, sir. No, which is a little different. Sir, you've lived I a fight a rabbit. You know what we, we, we care about, sir? Your philosophy of life. Yes. We've lived this long. You must have a philosophy that we can all share. Would you like to hear my credo? I'd, I'd love to. You have all a credo? Right. Get me some music. I can't do a credo without music. Some boom, boom. Oh, yes, boom. professor? Some music? Folks, this is my credo on how to live for 2,000 years. Be a friend to yourself. Shake your hand and pat yourself on the back. Take care of every part of your body as if it were your own. <laughs> From the day you're born until the day you die, never leave the house. It might be raining and there's tough guys out there. <laughs> and gentlemen and ladies, especially gentlemen, if you're lucky enough to find the love and respect of a beautiful woman, keep it from your wife. <laughs> she has to know, but she don't know, won't hurt you. Beautiful. Man.